Welcome, welcome all. Man, there is a lot of people. YouTube always. YouTube's always got to mess with me, man. I'm telling you. So, sorry, let's go through the colors. Uh, dark sienna brown, a little bit of red, cad yellow, phthalo green, which is like that ocean color green, phthalo blue, which is the lighter color blues, alizarin crimson, midnight black, and titanium white. And we're going to do a cool little Christmas tree scene over here. So I've taken the canvas, I've prepped it with Bob Ross liquid clear. Looks a whole lot like this for anybody who can see. Everybody's got an old nasty jar of Bob Ross liquid clear. This is the stuff that really gets the technique to work well. Okay, now I need to get all the clear off of this brush. So, show everybody in the beginning. We have a nice, nasty, gently used cup of uh, low odor mineral spirits that we take, we dip in very softly, and then we kind of shake it off inside. And that way, you don't have anything drip off of your brush. All right, then we go down into a trash can, shake it off, and then into the old beater bucket. And the old beater bucket looks like this. Everybody might be too close for all the cameras to see at the rotate. So. I have an old golf ball basket down at the bottom. It's the only thing I had when I started painting, and I've had it for four years now. I've been using the same golf ball basket for four years. Let me check all the cameras are good. Let's see. Everybody looks close enough. YouTube looks good. TikTok. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering about zooming in the TikTok camera, maybe getting a little bit closer. Let's see. What I want to do is dab off all the color off of this brush. So if you hear that like knocking noise, that's me dabbing off any bit of wetness off of the brush. Now our canvas is nice and slick and covered and everything looks fantastic. We're going to put the lid away. Put this away. We probably won't need it anymore. And let's get out a little bit of our Bob Ross liquid white. You don't need a whole lot for this painting. I like to get a little bit of it out and into an old lid, right? everybody. I like to save my old lids to the top of the jar in order to make like a little petri dish, right? That's what I call it anyway. So we'll mix up the paint, we'll throw some of it in here and I'll show you guys just about how much you need. It's not a whole lot and if I tip it, it's going to want to drip everywhere. So it's not a whole lot of paint and that's what's great about that liquid white. It's very wet and it will help all of our colors kind of go brighter and change and become all these different hues all on its own. It's fantastic. It's so easy. Oh, sorry, I had a little burp there. We haven't even had dinner yet. Like London's on the this. It might be, it might not be the best going live at six versus at seven. We normally go live at seven. All right, now let's get some color on the canvas before we start losing everybody. So I told you all the colors, but in case anybody just joined, dark sienna, bright red, cadmium yellow, phthalo green, phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, midnight black, titanium white. Now, depending on the color you want in your sky is going to depend on what under colors we put in, right? I just put that video out on TikTok that got one and a half million views. It's still growing right now. And everyone's like, oh, I can't believe the color changes like that. So that is the under color that we're putting, right? We take a brush, we load it full of color, and we come up to the canvas and just start dumping it on. You may not see a whole lot of this color. It might look black still to you, right? Even to me, it's very hard to see the color. So I'm going to spread that around. Don't want to do it everywhere though, right? Let's take a little bit of that same color and go back to the pout, put a little bit more on the brush, come down, let's do the same color underneath on the bottom of the canvas over here. We did the top one, let's do the bottom. I'm going to leave a little area of black right in the center that's untouched with paint for right now. Okay, now maybe over here we got to choose what color is going to complement that phthalo green the best. And in my mind, it's going to be the phthalo blue. A lot of times, you know, I'll do a blue and crimson sky like we did with that one and a half million view video. We did a blue and crimson sky. Those work well together. Crimson and the phthalo green do not. They make like a gray color. So if you're going for like a grayish, you know, kind of kind of a grayish sky or a stormy grayish cloudiness, you'd want to use the red and, and green. But for today, we're going to go blue and green. So I'm going to stick some of the blue in there. Mix it around. Maybe we got enough on the brush that we could do it down in the bottom too. Excellent. Okay, and it's not just a perfect square, right? Drag a little bit of it in. Let them mix together so it's a, a little bit of a blend in there. Never just a perfect line, straight line. Oh, I can't stand straight lines. Straight lines in a painting? Get out of here. Except for my contrails. When I put the little chemtrail in, that's the only straight line I like to do. Okay, I put a little blue over there so we have a little blue. Big patch of green, blue underneath, and then blue over. It's almost like an E. And a little patch of green over here, okay? So whatever we do in the sky, we can reflect down into the water. Now, again, we're going to wash that big nasty brush. I'm going to show you real quick. We'll put it in there. 
And when you pull it out, there's a lot, look at this. Oh, it's gonna drip, right? There's a lot of stuff in there. That's why I shake it like this. And when you shake it, it gets all that stuff, keeps it in the cup so it doesn't go anywhere. And now you have no drippage of the brush, right? Now you can move around your studio or your kitchen or wherever you're painting. Definitely don't wanna take this and put it back up onto the canvas. So that's a no-no. Shake it off into the can, into the bucket. Make sure you guys are gifting and tapping and commenting. The more comments we get, the more it opens it up. I figured that out on TikTok. We had like, like 2,000 comments on that other video, and it's got a million and a half views. So leave your comments. I swear London will be here soon, and she'll be reading me your comments so I can respond back in real time and answer your questions and stuff. So don't worry about that. We're going to knock the paint off the brush. We're going to check the cameras one more time, and then we're going to see what's going down. All right, let's come over here. Oh, London's home right now. I can hear the garage opening. So, in order to have a gorgeous looking sky, why don't we take a fan brush and we'll grab that old cup. Remember that cup I told you about? This highly technical piece of equipment that we like to use around here at Paint with Josh. Very expensive piece of equipment, right? We're going to take our cup, we're going to put it down to the side, we're going to load our brush up real fast, okay? So I want to get a little bit of white, but also check this out. If we go into the yellow, brighten it up a little bit of yellow, and then go back up here and touch this green, oh my goodness, you can't wait to see the color that's about to come out. Are you ready? A little bit of color for everybody to see. It's going to go straight onto the canvas right here. And look, it doesn't even matter the shape, right? Just literally, I'm just, I'm literally going to shut my eyes, and we're going to do it. Ready? Blah, 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 Doesn't matter. Literally, does, I can turn that into a cloud. Watch. I'm going to take a one-inch brush, just like this. We're going to turn this sucker into a cloud. Now, I know on the edges, it's going to kind of be hard to blend away, so why don't we start, maybe we'll start down here. And just with the corner of the brush, I'm going to start to pull. Look at that color that that yellow makes with the the green undertones, and then you got the blue up here, really pushing hard against the canvas to get that line to go away, and then very lightly touching over the canvas in our other places so we can get that cloud to kind of grow. Oof, my goodness. I really like that. I mean, it's fantastic. All you need is a bit of color up there. All right, we won't even use the cup today. We'll take that bit of color, we'll put our old cup away, so I'm not gonna use it. And now, I want to take the smallest, but you know what? Let's do a, we'll do the two inch brush. Get our big two inch brush. Hey, London's here. Big two inch brush and just start crisscross stroking, right? We're crisscrossing, we're blending out that sky so it has this beautiful light color underneath it. And it's very soft. Sir, I soft. can imagine from all this talking, you're parched. Uh, Would you like some chocolate shake? Oh, thank you for my chocolate shake. Right, as we go out like that, it'll be brighter and brighter and then it's gonna to start to mix in. I might, <laughs> mm. Mm. Du, 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 du. I'm loving it. That's good. I might have um, too much paint on the brush though, so let's switch to a different brush. And we're gonna start to take it and mix it in with this blue. Maybe pull the blue into here. And just start going back and forth. Again, tell us, now that London's here, tell us what time it is where you are, where you're watching from, and uh, what's your favorite sandwich? We always love to know. Let's see. Again, you can take and mix that and mix it and mix it until you just have like this glow, right? The, the very light amount of paint that we can pull out here, just by maybe taking some of that and dragging it out, and you get these cool little little things start happening. It's very neat, very neat, very neat. So tell us where you're watching from, what time it is where you are, and uh, what's your favorite sandwich? Well, I get a little bit of that same yellow, right? And I'll do it with my eyes open this time. But we'll just, it literally doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you do, you can take and fix it, right? We got Mess Georgia, it. Oklahoma, Idaho, uh, Minnesota, New Mexico, Ohio, New York City, hey. Kentucky, Illinois. Take that same brush that's got the green on it so we can just start to blend. North Carolina, Michigan, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Hawaii, Egypt. Hawaii, my Egypt. Goodness. Egypt, that's wicked. Texas, Germany, put this back down. North Carolina, Austin, that Texas. Darker one, start to drag it. Washington State. Washington State, excellent. Do you would you Thank like you a chicken nugget? Thank you guys for tuning nugget. in. Um, I don't know. I don't or would know. Would you like I'm... me to hold your food until the light? <laughs> you just want to feed me live? 
There we go. Very, look, almost exact reflections, right? Again, we took some of that color, maybe pulled it out, different angles though. I mean, it's nearly exactly the same. I'm sure the smell Leaving of the double that dark cheese area. burgers is going to tempt you. <laughs> Probably. All right, let's wash these brushes off again. Everybody loves to see how we wash the brushes, so we're going to dip it in, shake off the excess, shake it into a can, into the old beater butt, bucket, and beat the devil out of it. Beat the devil out of it, comes out nice and clean. Look at that, everybody. Fantastic. Watching from Kenya, Moldova. Wow, that's Kenya. That is awesome. Thank you for watching from Kenya. Has anyone spotted the elf on a shelf? Or the elf on a shelf over here? Depending on what platform you're watching on, you may not be able to see one. It is Christmas time. Elf on a shelf will be moving all around the studio throughout the uh, live shows in in December. It's going to be fantastic. I like I sh should not hold this because I almost wanted to take a drink. Like I can still I can smell it. And that's the only thing that stopped me. I feel like that would be bad. Yeah. And so we're not going to show the brush washing anymore because that was dangerous. I almost just took a drink of it. Just like that. Very nice and clean. Dry. Now we're gonna take and wash our fan brush off, which is more simple. I just dip that in, shake it off, and then straight into the bucket. All right? Comes out nice and clean. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. So, excellent. Thank you guys for telling us what time is. What's everyone's favorite sandwich? That's the best question. I mean, what's your favorite sandwich in Kenya? That's what I want to know. Because it's got to be different from like an Italian, you know, or a, or a steak and cheese or or whatever. Let's see what we're looking at. Mm. Okay, very cool. I like that. Michael Cruz mm. says, ending my birthday evening, chillaxing with Josh. Chillaxing. Excellent. Let's grab that cup again. I lied. We're going to use it. We're going to use the cup. So let's load it up. Now that we have this little bit of color, maybe we can get a little bit brighter moon to kind of shine in. So we're going to take that white back on both sides. Try to get everybody as close as we can get here. Without knocking over the tripods, right? Nice and thin, like an axe blade. Look at it. Right? Nice and slow. We're going to take this, take our cup, and then just make a very small little line around it. Right? Not using a whole lot of pressure or anything like that. And you try not to stop because that'll make it look all funky like it has over here. Right? If you can do it in one straight go, you're doing pretty good. Now I'm going to take my, my one inch brush and just kind of lightly pull that in. I want the ring to remain around the center. So very lightly and if you start making your circle kind of oblong, pull it back the other way. Thank you so much for the gifts. I'm watching them come through right now. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Somebody on Facebook sent a, a gif of a wacky waving and flavor on Family 2 band guy and I was like, oh, you've been watching on TikTok. You've been watching. All right, look, kind of going out a little bit. It's hard to stay out of everyone's way. Going out a little bit, going in a little bit, going out, going in. You know what I mean? Trying to keep it that little circle while remaining this cool little ring around it. That's very cool. Do you need very. a chicken nugget for energy? Uh, I'll have a bite of my cheeseburger, I guess. Okay. There we go. Try to don't want to get in my big head in front of everybody's way. But yeah, just like that. We'll put a cool little thing. Get our filter brush out. Because the filbert is the best way I've found to make a, uh, a moon in the sky. Okay, so we're going to just take an old filbert, same color, just that white. Don't need a whole lot of paint, though, because it's going to want to spread out. McDonald's, we would thoroughly enjoy some sponsorship. That would be great. Mm. Oh, my God. I know it's so bad for you, but it's so good. Well, we don't do it every day. Tell, tell, right. tell the fans what you have to do last night. Um... I had chicken alfredo last night. We had chili the night before. It was amazing. Didn't your, wife, take our white. didn't your wife make chicken alfredo? Yeah. No, my wife made both the meals. I'm going to push flat. I'm going to try to stay out of your way. I'm going to rotate the brush around. Right? The more we push, the bigger it becomes. I rotate the brush around and get this cool little moon out there. Now, if it's not 100% perfect, you can throw a cloud in front of it. You can do lots of stuff. Try to rotate. That's what these brushes are for. They'll split out into a, a, a fantastic little circle. You know, we almost forgot our, um, our reflection underneath, right? It's got to be perfectly underneath. Can't mess that one up, Josh. A lot of times I do stuff because I'm standing over at this weird angle so everyone can see. Mm. I do stuff at a weird angle. Oh, babe. Yes, love. Flex is here. Flex is here. Flexing. 
Like this? Wrong. Ah, flex him? Yeah, Fuzz is here, wants you to flex. Oh, Fuzz wants me to flex, got it. Yeah. I just flexed for him. Okay, let's do a little bit. We're gonna pull out to the side. Pull out, gonna pull in. Gonna do everything. Man, I can't believe that one, that video hit one and a half. Man, it might be up to 1.6 by now. And by the way, anyone watching on TikTok, we're trying to get to 50,000 uh, followers, and we could do it with this one live, with your help, get to 50,000 followers. So, go over to TikTok, like me. If you're watching on TikTok, hit the little thing. It's so easy to like somebody over there. All right, we're going to take our brush now, and this one on the bottom is going to get moved over a lot, so it doesn't really matter. We'll just take it and swipe it back and forth, and then the more and more layers that we put on, the more it's going to get covered up, and maybe we'll save like a little piece of it, right? We're going to take the brush. I'm not going to put any more white on it because it doesn't need to be that that bright, right? Put the couple teeniest, tiniest little things, and then we'll go straight underneath again. Keep my big head out of the way, sorry. And we'll come underneath here, and the, the, the one in the water doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be swiped over so many times that it doesn't even matter, right? Unless you're trying to paint like a mirror-like reflection, don't worry about the one in the water. Let's wash this brush off over here. And then, yeah, it was so funny how many people said I sounded like uh, Ryan Reynolds, too, and the Joker. That was hysterical, I thought. If you are watching, please keep in mind, Josh does do this in his free time. He does make money from his art by selling his artwork on Etsy, hashtag link in bio. Uh, if you could support by tapping, commenting, sharing, and gifting, if you can, that would be amazing. Yeah, and I also wrote the link in right here for anybody who can read the sign down here. I wrote it in with my terrible penmanship. All right, so we're going to get these same color, just that white, and it's going to mix with whatever colors we have over here. And let's throw a cloud in, just very simply. It's not a crazy shape, but be messy. Rotate the brush back and forth. Go up and down. Twist it. Make a circle every so often. Just be messy. Like, look, I won't even pick the brush up. Just kind of rotate, spinning it here, there, the other way. Bam. That's all you need. You don't want a whole lot of paint on your brush, though, right? A lot of paint on a black canvas will really grow. That's how I can tell when you've used too much paint is your clouds, they come down here. You know what I mean? They really want to grow. So the three P's of, of cloud. How many people we got watching, babe? I'm going to give you guys a secret, so I want a lot of people to be watching. How many we got? 117 on TikTok, okay, 15 on YouTube. The three P's of clouds, and how many on Facebook? Like 60 on Facebook. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Remember, be tapping the screen, tapping the screen. I'm about to show you something really cool. We're going to start down here. I'm going to work my way up. Now, the three P's of clouds is the amount of paint on the brush, which in this case we have none, the amount of pressure on the canvas, right, how much you're pushing, and, of course, practice is the last P. So in this case, we've already dumped our color on. We're going to come up here very lightly because there's not a whole lot of paint. I don't want it to grow forever. I really don't want these to touch too much. You can. You can cover over it if you want, but in this case, I don't want mine to. Very lightly pushing up, pushing down. Try not to lose those little dark areas, right? Very soft. Go over it a couple times, but don't lose it. Right? The more you push, the more it's going to spread that color and the softer it's going to become right up here. Push a little harder. You want it to grow a little bit? Push a little harder. It'll grow. We can always come back in if you've ended up covering up too many dark areas. Like in this spot, it's very bright. We can go back in and add some shadows. No big deal. Let's go again here. We're going to go up. Again, if I don't want the paint to really move very far, I'm barely touching it. I'm kind of pulling away. I'm not pushing on it so hard that it's going to spread. You know what I mean? It's all judging what yours looks like and how yours is reacting to your canvas, and then you kind of adjust and go ahead. Jackie calls us here watching on TikTok. Hey, Jackie, over from Facebook and YouTube. She's a Super Squad member. We should tell everybody about the Super Squad. You should. So the Super Squad is my YouTube membership program where I have tutorials that you can't see, right? We have like 300 tutorials all together uh, throughout all of the, the YouTube platform, but you can't see a few of them. They're hidden. It looks like a little heart in there, doesn't it? That's kind of cute. It does. So those are the members only tutorials and you have to be a member to watch them. So in order to join the Super Squad, you go to youtube.com slash paintwithjosh slash join. It's been a while since we've done a live. I've almost forgot my own, uh, my own links, right? Let's say we wanted to go back and add a little bit of brightness or add some shadows in. 
All right, let's grab a different brush though. I don't want to get this one all dark. So we'll go and grab a little bit of blue on our brush, just straight up blue right off the palette. Don't need a whole lot. This is probably way too much. So I'm going to very, very, very lightly touch in just a couple little dabs. Just a few little dabs. That's all we need. All right, just kind of wherever you think some shadows might lay. And then as we go across, that blue is going to want to grow so much. So just very lightly, right, until it starts to look like a little difference in color. That's what we're all about around Paint with Josh. Differences in color! Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> That's all it takes is a few little blue areas to break up all the white and have you have more and more and more detail. I mean, does that not look like a heart? That's hey, fantastic. question for you guys. If you could do me a huge favor and press that little share button and send it to either your Facebook wall, text it to a friend, or share it to your friends on TikTok. See if send we can get, get more people in here so that they can experience this magicalness, which is pain with Josh. <laughs> All right, let's scrape up a little bit of white, like the teeniest little bit. There's nothing on my knife right now. Little teeny scrape. That's even too much. We're on a, a black canvas. You need the smallest smallest, smallest, smallest amount of paint. Okay, maybe our little contrail in this case, or chemtrail, depending on what you think it is, came out right there. Oh, be so straight. You don't even have to go as far as you want it to go because it's gonna grow like crazy. Now, especially when we already have all this undercolor, you get one swipe, that's it. So, side of the brush, right? This side, I'm not, I'm not putting it flat. I'm using all the bristles along the edge so we're going to start with the side, go one swipe. See how it, it grew instantly? It loves doing that. So be careful with it, right? All you need, just like that. Very cool. Coming out of a cloud. So I'll take a little bit of that white, put it over the top of that cloud. Maybe we want it a little bit more. Maybe we can highlight that, that little bit of a heart. Put a little bit of white around the edge. All right. Wouldn't make sense that there would be light down here, but I like it. Now, very softly over the heart. Very softly. And with, only because it happened naturally, organically. I didn't plan to paint a heart in there. It just came out. Yeah, just like that. Very cool. Very stinking cool. Okay. Let's throw in a giant mountain, because that's what everyone wants to see. That's what people are tuning in for. I'm gonna take your food downstairs. Oh, can I have another bite? Oh, you want another bite? Yeah. Oh. I want. Let me. I can just eat it while we're going. I thought. Why are you even running away with it? Mm. You're taking it away. I know, but your 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 speaking voice okay. is perfect tonight. Okay, I'm in a groove then. Take it downstairs. Do you want another bite? No, I... take it downstairs. It's, good. it's all good in the hood. Okay, let's get the hey. big knife. Out. Oh. Hey, babe, you yeah. should do your Ryan Reynolds impression for everybody. Um, you got to give me a line. I forget now that it's, now that I'm here. Just whatever you're doing. Like, Hi, guys. Ryan Reynolds here, painting a, painting a soft little nighttime Christmas scene. <laughs> I don't think I sound like Ryan Reynolds. You do when you do it like that. I don't. Someone tag Ryan Reynolds so he can do like a, like a stitch and prove that we do not sound alike at all. All right, let's see. Let's take all this dark color, right? And we're gonna go, let's mix it up. Just a little bit of white. Don't need a whole lot. Come in here. Yeah, so he definitely nailed it. You do sound like him. Hi guys. Me and Will Ferrell here are here to show you how to paint a Christmas scene. <laughs> Except I can't do Will Ferrell. He's just off screen. <laughs> we're gonna wipe that off. Hold Come on. up here, scrape Hold on. that if up. You and I are in the same room and you're Ryan Reynolds. Does that make me Will Farrell? <laughs> no, well, no. Okay, good. All right, let's come up here. We're gonna go into the clouds a little bit, trying to save that little piece of heart just because I love it so much. Just a giant mountain in this one, just kept climbing. And that's what's cool about these. It doesn't have to, you know, all we're worried about is the top. You didn't have to worry about what's going on underneath here. All this is gonna end up being covered, right? So don't fret, don't worry. Drop a little bit of that darkness underneath. Maybe we had, I don't know, a little over there. That was it, nothing crazy. Just little, literally randomly drop that amount of paint on there. And then we're gonna take our brush, just like so, we're gonna come up, so pull that guy off to the side. You see why we had that light color that we needed to bounce off of? You can't have it be real dark when your paint is real dark. It's not gonna work like that. 
I didn't even notice a little mistake we had right there. Somebody will go, uh, you touched the moon again. It was the best comment. And like, literally, that was the thing, the best thing. The thing that most people commented on or uh, mentioned was that I touched the moon in that video. The first thing out of their mouths. It was awesome. Okay, not even going to go too crazy. Just a little mountain, something like that. Maybe we'll take... Before we forget, we should probably do our little bit of clouds down here, don't you think? Just as a little reflection. Take that, again, just mix them up. And just in, within a few seconds, you don't even have to take a whole lot of time, because again, all we're looking is for a little bit of color to match. All right, maybe the color came down about there. That's it. Take it, swipe it over, and again, you can keep swiping over all of this stuff continually, and it will continue to change become different and all we're really worried about is a little bit of light down here that we can pop something else dark in front of right? let's see we could do our we could do the mountain if you wanted to nothing crazy though a smaller much smaller amount of paint it will come up like this got our mountain peak again and scraping up all this paint because it's not what i want out there right kind of like that and now we worried about we're not worried about here because we're going to pull down you could flip your canvas over, I guess, and do different things, but it's easy enough for me anyway. Especially if we're just going to take this. All it is is just a shape, right? Just a basic shape that we're going to use. Pull it down, pull it off to the side, just like these other guys. Oh, we almost forgot the almost forgot the one in front of the moon. A little bit like that. Just a little bit of paint. Oh, it's all. It's really all we need. Because then we can come up, go down cover up all this stuff underneath, right? We want these dark colors to go towards each other. Start to pull our mountain upwards instead of downwards like normal. Right. Poof. Yeah, got your reflection in, in an instant, right? Shape it however you want. And again, it doesn't really matter because we're going to go over it a million times back and forth, back, back and forth, back and forth. So don't worry about it, man. Yep. Poof. All you really need. I mean, we call that one done. All right, we're done for today. That's it. Turn the cameras off. All right, we got to reline up our our chemtrail, and you don't have to see exactly the same amount of everything, right? Depending on the perspective of the painting, you may not see everything. So I think it's about there, and we're gonna come just a little bit, a little bit like that. That's all we need. Now, where is that brush? Here we go. Maybe for this guy, we're gonna pull that inward. All we really need, a little bit, because again, all it's gonna do is pick up your eye if we even see it. We may cover that section. You may never even know it's there. So, don't worry about it is what I'm saying. It's not a, a, a be all, end all, Break the, bank uh, break the bank type of thing. Let's come in here with our white. We need to make up some shadowy colors. So let's grab, holy cow, look at that thing. green, it slid all the way down the palette. That oil, man, that oil. My goodness, it was like, hey, come use me again. I'm ready to be used. Okay, we're coming. We're coming for you right now. Let's get a little bit of white, a little bit of that phthalo green. We're gonna mix it up. And these will be like our, our shadowy highlights. All right, just a little bit. I don't want it to be too dark, but you don't want it to be too bright either. It's got to match up with our our snow, right? Scrape down to the bottom of your pile. That's where the brightest colors would like to hide. Now we're going to take a little bit of that dark purplish mixture that we made the mountain of and just mix that in, just the smallest bit, just to dull it down the littlest. Now, let's come back here. We're going to grab this up. Depending on where we think our light might hit, we're going to take that roll of paint and go back and touch the canvas. Come up here very lightly though. There's so little amount of paint that you need to use on a black canvas to get it to shine through. And you don't have to touch everything, right? But it's so light, there's nothing on my knife. All we're doing is dragging the smallest bit. Gonna go back to that green. Don't even need a whole lot. Maybe back in here, there was like another sheer dropping shadow back in there, right? And you can almost see the differences in color back in here, where to highlight it and where to shadow it. I can almost see in my head, maybe there was a little bit of, I don't know, something, a little shelf came off that way. Some sort of something. Don't let these two touch. If they become 
you know, too bright. Look at that. Just by scraping it to pick it back up again, we've created a cool little kind of ridge in there. Almost looks like this ridge goes back that way. That is kind of neat. Just, just again, all happy accidents, right? That's kind of cool. Looks like a little snake coming out. Now I'm trying to redo that on the bottom. You know what I mean? That's the tough part. So this, again, even less paint, because all we're looking for is that slight little bit of color, a little bit of difference back in there, right? It's going to be swiped over a million times, so don't worry about it. Made that little shadow, and then it came into that little ridge, right? The ridge was over here. Again, all this might be covered with trees. And whatever isn't, cover it with trees. That's all you need to do. If you don't like a spot, cover it. All right. That's good enough, I guess. We're going to swipe over it anyway, and I'll show you. It'll turn into, into watery reflections. A little bit less. Maybe there was a sneaky bit of green back in here. Maybe a small bit back on the side of this guy. You never know where the, where the shadows are going to be. Now, right underneath our moon, we're going to have to decide. Eh, let's just make it all the same. We'll just take this guy, slide him down, just like so. Very soft. Very, ooh, people seem to like it when I made that noise. Ooh, very soft. Just like that, get these cool little mountains starting to build themselves. Now check this out. If we have our shadows on this side, right, we'll start to swipe, start to bring like a little valley down, right? Maybe these two little things meet up when we get our lights in there. So now let's go back and create some highlights. We'll grab that white paint and come back over here, scrape up the littlest bit of the green that we created and mix it in with our white. We only need the smallest hint of green, and only because I don't want it to be pure white as far away as possible. We're gonna save our pure whites for when we get down here. Woo, man. All right, make sure you guys are tapping the screen. If you see something you like, make sure you tap, 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 tap. And more importantly, comment. Tell me I suck. Tell me you like the painting. Tell me how bad it is. Tell me what you would do differently. And uh, you know what I wanna do here? I'm gonna get a little bit more of that Goya, oh yeah, that green color. But yeah, tell me how much I suck. Tell me what you would do to change the painting when you do your version. Just comment, it helps. The more and more you comment, the more it helps. I like how dark it is back here as well. What do we do? There was like another, I don't know, it was like a little shelf. All right, just to chuck in something different. Make it different. That's all you need. That one little piece of difference in there. And different angles. We got well, some going here. We got some coming straight down. We got some going this way. We got some kind of straight and then down a little bit less, a little bit less. All different angles. Now let's go sneak up a little bit of that white. And I'm talking about a little. You can always add more. You can never take it away once it's there because it's so bright on this canvas. I'm going to come up. I'm going to grab the tip top so stinking lightly that you can't even barely touch it. Look, different angles, different amounts of pressure. Different things cause different things to happen, right? Maybe we had on the front side of this guy just a little bit off that little ledge that got lit up by the moon. Maybe over here, maybe we had a little bit of, of you know what? The moon just decided to reach right over here and light up that whole little section with a little bit of light. Just kissed it. It was like, a little kiss for you, babe. A little kiss. Mwah! Get out of here. A little kissy. Right? So lightly touching little things. And that way, you can start to build your rock out without covering all of those little dark areas. Those are our best friends. Those little dark spots. But only the small ones. We don't want them to be humongous, right? Maybe the, the light picked up right over here on the other side of that shadow and it started to get real bright. And you can see the white that we put in here is starting to blend in with that blue that we had put underneath. They, so they, automatically it's changing. They can still hear Ryan Reynolds. Oh, yes. We're going to come over here, guys. Hi, I'm the owner of Cricket Boost Mobile, whatever it is. <laughs> it's Mint I, Mobile. Mint it's Mobile. Cricket. Well, Cricket T-Mobile Boost Mint Mobile. <laughs> and we're here to paint a nice little winter scene for you today. And it's going to be fantastic. Come down like this, just a little bit of pressure. Bobby Coday with the just 100 stars. Thank you so much. Steve Jankowski's here. Look at that. Probably the best mountain that Deadpool has ever done, let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, everyone. That was fire right there. Was it? Yeah, that was fire. I don't think Every, I sound like it. Everybody's so. laughing in the comments. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome. 
What's funny is like it's just really my own speaking voice. Like I'm not trying to do a, an impression. And people are like, oh, he sounds like Heath Ledger's Joker. And I didn't want to say in the comments, um, I've never watched The Dark Knight because I think Batman, like that version of Batman, I don't know. I, for whatever reason, I've never seen The Dark Knight. Leave me alone. It's my wife's favorite movie, and I still won't watch it with her. They, they yes. need, you need to be careful. People are leaving. Oh, no, The Dark Knight. I'm a fan of Batman. Hey, I, I like Batman. I like uh, Michael Keaton as Batman. I like, uh, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. Right. Like, Old right, Batman. Danny says Bill Hader. Oh, I like Bill Hader too. Yeah, I can't remember anything he said. That's what's what's funny is like people start saying things and then I can't remember anything that this famous person has said to try to do an impression of it. Somebody said Jeff Goldblum too, which I thought I was funny. I don't think it sounded anything like Jeff. Goldblum. I was like, just just call me the Grand Master. <laughs> Here on Sakar. <laughs> Tell me. There we go. Let's see, a little bit down in here, just to, just to help. I mean, you could literally build this mountain all the way down if you wanted to. Now, let's take a little bit of our white, <clears throat> kind of go just in different areas down here, just kind of laying it out like a fan, because that's like I said, as we swipe over it, it's going to move. It doesn't really make a difference. We're just looking for that smallest little bit of light. That's even way too much paint right there. Question, did you feed the cat at 5 o'clock? Yes, I did. Oh, well, I can't feed her three times today. I'm going to have to take her back to the vet. She's, like, ravenously Yeah, hungry. she's, like, eating everything. There we go. Look at that. It's instant reflections upside down. And you want to know why? Because we didn't really try. We didn't really care so much about it. it. wasn't really trying to paint the reflections. And now, in order to make them look right, we have to very lightly pull in the direction that we want the snow to go. So if I want it to go this way, I've got to pull it this way. Imagine that. Right? Imagine painting a, a mountain upside down. There we go. Boom. Just by pulling in the right direction. That's all you got to do, right? Because again, we're going to take it and it's going to end up being swiped over and poof. Tell me that's not a perfect reflection of that mountain. Oh man, it's so easy. Everyone's like, I can't do it. You can do it. You guys can do it. I'm here. I'm here to tell you. You can do it and I can help. Paint with Josh on YouTube, right? And TikTok. TikTok is my is my biggest audience now. Like I wonder how many followers we're at now. I'm trying to hit fifty thousand before You're at forty five thousand one hundred. That can't be right. Is that right? No, I, I felt like lying because oh. that seemed like a, a well, that's not thing nice. To do. <laughs> no, it told you the truth. I know, I'm messing with you. There we go. Okay. The more and more I mess with it, the more like Let's just scrape that part off, right? The more paint you put on it, the brighter it's going to be. Steve Jankowski put says a little bit of blue in Christian there. Bale was the best Batman. Uh, well, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I like uh, you know, Michael Keaton. I like Mike Keaton. You know, I like the one with the penguin. With the Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Is the yeah. I, it's not like I don't I dislike Batman. I, I don't dislike Batman. Josh and his magic paintbrush. I think we should rename okay. the, I think we should rename the business. Now. We're going to rename the channel. Josh and his magic paintbrush. All right, let's get the other brush. All right, still same amount of paint on it. I haven't really gotten rid of any paint off of it. I'm just very lightly going to swipe up in the same, you know, the opposite. If we went down this way with a knife, you come up this way with the brush. All right, maybe on this side we start to come over. We start swiping this way, just so softly, dragging in from the edge. You know what I mean? In the same angles, otherwise you're going to change what it looks like. And all it does is just kind of soften the base. I feel can't like, really tell. I feel like a Fuji song coming on. Swiping my mountain softly. Swiping my pain with his brush. <laughs> there we go. Cool little things, right? Leaving dark areas in there. Don't need everything to be the same amount of light. Now, we're going to take the bottom of this guy. And we're going to come in and start to tap at it. And it's going to start to mix that white with the colors underneath and everything else, right? Tap a little bit at the bottom. It really doesn't matter in the water. We're gonna end up covering it anyway. And we're gonna start to kind of tap up here, drag it down, the same angles that you want it to go. All right, so here we wanna kind of come around this point. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go over, kind of like a clock. Hey babe, right. yes, what kind of paintbrushes do you use? So these are the Bob Ross paintbrushes that I use. Uh, I don't, you don't need to use Bob Ross brushes. You need a nice hog hair brush that's very firm. Uh, I, if anything, get the two-inch brush and then buy all the other brushes somewhere else. But I, I, I 
swear by this brush. I know that Kevin Hill has a, a good brush, and there's other brushes out there, but this is the first one I ever got. It sparked my painting career, and why fix it if it's not broke? So, love these brushes. Plus, the fans buy me these off of the, the Amazon wish list. Also, so in that way, I never run out of... Dang it, you guys see that? Did no one see? Maybe if we... I, I just messed it? up the smallest... Did I did, the smallest little bit. But maybe if we flick upwards a little bit, it might look like some very far... Big trees over there, maybe? Mm. It's all right. Softly, softly mess it up. Don't change too many of our little details back there. All these little snow break details and the bright green color back here are what our eye wants to see. And I never like it being a perfectly straight line at the, at the peak, so why don't we go a little bit over and we'll pull it down. We gotta get enough paint on the knife, Josh. There we go. Come over, we pull it down. That way it's not a perfectly straight thing, right? Guys, I know I sound like a broken record, but if you could comment, just so that I know you're still here, that would be amazing. See if you could just tap here in the comments. Come on, guys! Just so that I know that you're here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I'm not sitting on the floor doing nothing. That'd be great. <laughs> London wants to write back to you. Come on. Here! Here! All right, let's do just a little bit of some trees. So, I need another fan brush. Where's my fan brush? Here we go. Always taking forever, Josh. Let's get more of that black, more crimson, more blue. My favorite color. Mix it in over here. I mean, nice and dark. That way it'll stand out against this very light, dark color, right? It's not, it's not very bright, but it's not very dark either. It's a very light, bright color. Maybe snag a little smidge of the white paint. Come over here. Just load up the brush back and forth, just like that. Nothing crazy, right? Need the whole brush filled for a painting like this. Gotta have it filled. Now, we're gonna come in with some trees. Now, I, I want to decide, maybe my Christmas tree is gonna sit right in the middle. So I don't want to overload this area with too much paint. So why don't we come from the edge, start dropping in just a cold bit. Look at that, look at how sharp they are. If they stop becoming sharp, go back, get more paint on the night, on, on your brush. Right, come back over here, more black, more crimson, more blue. My, my three favorite colors, the three faves. Load it up so it's just like an ax again. You get these nice sharp pointy tops of our trees. Notice how I'm coming up into that blue section. That's going to create distance right there. That's the mist. Somebody had asked, how do you create the fog? How do you paint fog? That's it. It's there. All we had to do is tap at it and let it mix itself in. Hey babe, what type of paints do you use? So I use Bob Ross paints. I have Winsor & Newton white on my palette right now. We're using Winsor & Newton white. Uh, I use the Gamblin. The red on my palette is actually Gamblin 1980 red. Um, yeah, I've, I've used them all. I use another little set called Magic Fly sometimes. It work out pretty good. Now, I want to do a few more on the bottom here. <clears throat> yeah. Reesey PC. Reesey PC. Says, how much would this painting go for? Question mark about. So, I have a 30% off sale going to my store right now. And this painting would probably be... Let's come up here like this a little bit. Nothing crazy. Uh, this painting would probably be in the... 80 to 90 dollar range and then you got your 30 percent off so it's a crazy sale happening right now al harrington's wacky waving inflatable arm flailing paintings and warehouse okay let's try that so yeah about that i've, I've got some that range up to you know a thousand dollars i've got some that are 150 i got some that are 250 i've got them all over the place so let's see do we want to make it, yeah, we should probably do that. Okay, we're going to go straight up. You see how it makes it nice and sharp? It starts to really make them look like trees. Look at that. Just look at the difference. I didn't see Sam Root sent 500 stars. Hey, I'm Sam Root. That. Hey, I've got a class with Sam Root on Sunday. So Sam is a Super Squad member, and uh, I've cut him an awesome, wicked deal on, uh, on uh, uh, like, a Zoom class, a, 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 a virtual class, I guess they call it. There we go. That's cool. All I gotta do is line up just the littlest bit. And again, we might not even need the whole thing. Very softly, 
Swipe those ones in the water and just get them just nice and reflective. Aaron Nautical's cool. in the comments on TikTok and he says, I received one. They are so underpriced. They are utterly gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. That is the green moon. Wakandan Songbird. Oh yeah, house. that was a good one. Wakandan Songbird, that's a cool name. Thank you for tuning in. Every time I'm tapping like this, you guys, that should be you tapping on the screen. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit here all night and tap. I'm capping. Right? All right, somebody lay down a beat. <laughs> Again. Uh, Jonathan Evely says, hey, Josh, what's your favorite sandwich? My favorite sandwich is a spicy Italian. Oh, I just got some paint on Elf on a Shelf's head. There we go. <laughs> so, you know, all the spicy Italian meats with the cheese and the extra hot peppers and all the good stuff. So much so that it hurts on the way out, right? Just sure. so, Well, you know, I'm just telling the truth. Let's grab a little bit more. I want to make one of these trees like a... Bob Ross used to call it the big boss daddy tree of the forest. that just stands out among all those other little hash marks. And when you see this tree, you go, ah, all of these other guys are pine trees, obviously. All right, so maybe, maybe it was this guy on the end. Yvonne yeah, Wilkes in the house. She says, do you ever do videos this. on how you price art for other artists? Uh, well, I, I don't. No, no, no. How you price your own so that other artists could learn how to paint, how to price their artwork. Oh, well, I mean, mine's kind of been like a, a trial and error type thing, really. Over, and I, they've gone up over the course of, of um, painting. As I've gotten better, they go up, you know. I, I've always said you kind of look at somebody else that's comparable to you and see what they're charging you know what i mean and then kind of go from there and and uh hopefully end up with a couple sales there we go drop a couple little guys in around him and then we'll take i don't want to reach all the way to the top of this so just very lightly very lightly and then as i get to the top i pull the brush away so i don't really nick the top of the tree but now you can tell more like a little pine tree out there. Very cool. Let's throw some... Noise. Let's do it that way. Let's go this way. <laughs> Noise! I like that. Oh, shoot. Mm. Oh, that, here, babe, I'll hold that for you. I don't know. Oh, I don't think... No, no, no. I no, might not no, get no, it back. No, I might I'll not get it back. I'll hold that for you. Mm. I might not get it back if I give it to you. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Let's do... Let's do this. Let's take our light colored brush. We're going to come in here. And like you guys are like, let's see. Like I'm literally making this up as we go. Never painted one like this. Kind of looks like a Bram painting to me. And, uh, you know, I saw he posted uh, today about having artwork and stuff for sale. So maybe that's, maybe I'm just, just like, channeling Bram. I don't know. Let's see. Apparently an individual on TikTok where they live, the classes there are $300. Three hundred dollars for a for an oil painting class. Yeah. Come, let's let's do some let's do some Zoom classes, babe. I can uh, I can I can beat that deal. Yeah, I so can beat that quote definitely. If you like, are, if you want to learn how to paint, let's do it. If you are it. interested in a Zoom class, you are more than welcome to email us at management at paintwithjosh .com. Exactly. Let's do one more little piece because it seems like we lost like. Just a little. Don't want to add too much detail. Of or course. head over to Facebook, shoot us a message over there, on Instagram, even on TikTok. <clears throat> you can send messages anywhere. Right? Okay, let's take a little bit of our white. Not too much paint. Again, wipe some of it off. We're on a white canvas. It's really going to show through. And let's come in here, and maybe we had just a, maybe not behind that guy. We had just a few little kind of lighter colored bits it got hit by got hit by the moonlight right just a mess that's all you really need so I always say make a mess we're literally making a mess right now we either have another bit of forest or we got a couple bits that have been highlighted by the moonlight right again we're gonna take the base of all those little colors spread them out right all I'm, all I'm really doing is I hold this gigantic palette I don't know why I hold this thing all the time all I'm really doing is using the top few bristles of the brush, right? Nothing crazy, just the top couple. I'm not hitting it with all of the bristles. That's going to really take the paint and spread it out. Just kind of angling it, 
or angling it this way, just trying to use those top few in order to bring that mist. That's how you create that fog. Very cool. Very Steve, cool. Steve Jankowski says, LOL, channeling Bram. Yeah. I love Bram. Bram loves me. We're a happy Beat painting. Family. <laughs> painting family. Okay. With Bram's a brush like, and some oils, we'll throw it on a canvas. Bram's like, please stop mentioning me. <laughs> <laughs> please stop mentioning me, please. There we go. Bam. Perfection. I love that little ring around the cloud, too. It's very neat. We kind of lost our heart now that we put the mountain in, so why don't we just give a few more little details in there. And again, yours is not going to look 100% like mine, right? There we go. See? Boof. That would be oh, weird if it did. It would. It would be like, so crazy if it did. Here's my painting, and you're like, uh, wow, that looks exactly like mine. Right. All right, let's take a little bit of this white, just the smallest amount on the brush, we're going to start to decide maybe our land lives back in here. Little tiny amount on the brush. If you are interested in learning how to paint and watching longer versions of Josh and his Ryan Reynolds voice, you can head over yes. to YouTube and catch him at Paint with Josh No K over on YouTube, uh, where he does release a new video every Tuesday through December. We are going live Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That would be 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, and 2 a.m. GMT for those across the pond. Oh, weird. Uh, if you guys are watching at 2 a.m., you're awesome. Saturdays, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Eastern, and 5, no, 6 p no, 7 p.m. <laughs> what is it, time. babe? I don't know. 7 p.m.? Is it 7 p.m.? 11? Yes, 7. 7 p.m. They're eight hours ahead of us. See, the more paint we put down, the more like the more pressure I'm adding, the more paint comes off the brush, and it brightens it up a little bit until it turns out however I want it to look. Right? Ooh. Who knows where the water line is now? If you are watching on any of the three platforms, YouTube, Facebook, or TikTok, and you want to support Josh, you can go ahead and either submit a super sticker, you can submit super stickers on YouTube, you can submit uh, stars on Facebook, and you can send a variety of craziness over on TikTok. Mm -hmm. The craziness matter, gets fun over Doesn't there. matter how small it is, Josh does have a goal set up for 100 sub stars. So if you hey, are interested right. in joining that, that would be amazing. That would be cool. Let's take a little bit of like... A little water line, a little land line back here. A little bit of darkness is going to separate our land from the water. How about that? I don't want to pull it too far. I'm kind of pulling it both ways, and that way it doesn't stretch out. All right, maybe over here. Don't want to lose that dark little patch back there. For some reason, I love it. Your eye is going to look at that next time. It's going to go, ooh, and then when you see it completed, just that little bit helps raise that level up a little. Okay, now... Maybe we had some real bright white kind of on the top or the front of this guy, just with the palette, uh, just with the, the fan brush, and then lighter pressure as we go back here. I don't want it to be so bright the further away it is. I want it to be brighter the closer it is. Right? So take this guy first, very light little strokes. Again, does it come down into the water or is it all land? We've, none of this has to be water. We can get rid of whatever we don't want to see doesn't have to. That's what's the best part about it. And that's why no one's will ever look the same because you'll get to a spot in yours and you'll go, ooh, it would look cool if mine did this. And then you go your way and everything looks awesome. There we go. A little bit. Soft little bit of light back there. I don't want you to focus back here. I want you to focus on what's going to be in the front. So we're not going to do too much for back there. Maybe a little bit. That's even way too much. A little bit of liquid white. Smallest little bit. Nothing crazy. All right, take this guy very straight. Very soft little pressure, too. And that way, it cuts that little dark line, gives you a little bit of water. Very cool. If you're as interested as we are as getting Josh on Netflix, you can head over to Netflix.com. And in the Contact Us section, you can recommend shows. 
if we can get enough people to write Paint with Josh, at some oh point my. Netflix are going to be like, who is Paint with Josh? Yeah. Who is this guy? And okay, then they'll be him. like, it's Ryan Reynolds, Bob Ross. Yeah. Let's have a cool little bit. Maybe back there, right? It's got to be straight. There we go. Now we can take our brush again. And just softly, just give the impression there's a little bit of water back there. Further away, not so much detail, right? A little bit of dark right above that dark line, uh, that light line, just to raise it up a little, right? And that darkness is going to grow with your brush, so you don't have to put a whole lot of paint there. Who gave you that milkshake back? That was a bad idea. Yeah, we should probably put it in the freezer. Um, no, you should just probably should have just got room. dinner afterwards. Mm. Here. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. No worries. Mm. Um, Let's go, okay, let's bring it down a little. Maybe have those guys line up. But I don't want to lose that darkness, that darkness back there either, right? That darkness is pretty cool. That little bit of line, maybe it's a little hill back there. Ryan Ross is Ryan, how you've now been coined. Ryan Ross, Joker, Heath Ledger, something or other. <laughs> okay, let's put a cool little tree back there. Bob Reynolds. A little baby tree. Bob Reynolds. <laughs> let's put a little baby tree. That same dark colored, our crimson, black, blue, go right into there. All we really need, maybe a little bit of the phthalo green, a little bit, nothing too crazy. All right, and then back off here in the distance. If I want the tree to look closer than these trees are, it needs to be taller. And I know that's sometimes this might be the best part of your mountain, and you don't want to go put a tree right here, but you have to. You have to cover over some little things. No. Right, just down like that. Don't have to go all the way down to the base. We can always extend this. We can do all sorts of stuff. We're going to come from the side, trying to keep the shadows out of the way, and just with the corner, start touching upwards, right? And you start creating all these little cool, teeny, tiny little things. And then as we go down more, I mean, come over here, you start pushing more and more into the tree, and you start to build out those little things, starting to rotate back and forth, back and forth, and you start building out your little branches until you think he looks pretty cool. Now we'll take a uh, one inch brush, come back over here, just grab the base of him. You can take it and, you know, depending on where your light is, if you want to pull it down so it's got, you know, the right kind of shadow going down that way. A lot of times at night, I mean, you, you see thing, you see most of everything in, in light and blue, so being very dark isn't really going to help us. Now what we can do is take this guy, right, put our... Or this is how you would do the saggy trees too, just opposite. But we're going to come in like this and start touching. And then as we get taller and taller, we're going to start to rotate the brush so it's on an angle like that, right? All you really need, take your two-inch brush. You don't want a whole lot of paint there either. Two-inch brush, swipe it down, swipe it to the side. I don't know what the heck that was. I missed it. I missed it with the, uh, with the branch, but that's okay. Branch. Branch, my man. man. I want to get this kind of sharp because that other one is sharp. And you can take it and mix over it, but now that we have our moon there, I don't want to really get rid of it. So why don't we just connect? There we go. There we go. Much better. A couple little sideways swipes. Give it the effect of the branches kind of poking out at the top. Very cool. Very cool. And again, you can move it, right? The more you swipe this way, the more it will start to have an arc in the middle. So swipe it back the other way sometimes. Keep everything nice and and, uh, and rocking and rolling. Hey, it's babe, really good. Yeah. Why do you wear gloves? I wear gloves to keep the paint off my fingers, to keep any of the oils or the toxins or whatever from the mineral spirits or or anything. And it mainly just to look cool, basically. <laughs> just to look cool. That's it. All right, so we're going to have one tree there. Why don't we put our big so guy... Ryan Jackson. Yeah. With the gloves. <laughs> Ryan Jackson. That's funny. Ryan Let's do him here. Jackson. We'll do him much bigger than this tree. Okay, so we're going to come back. That's why I left. I like that open space in the mountain. It's a it's a little crevice to to throw something into or, or you know, through, and it makes it, brings it much closer. So I don't want to go humongous, obviously. But we'll get a fair amount of a little tree out here, a little Christmas tree on the bank. And again, we can.
can bring the, the bank as close as we want with the snow. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, come up here. Maybe this guy. Hey guys, shameless plug real quick. If you are into artwork, but you are thinking to, your house, to yourself, the inside of my house looks lovely with all this artwork. However, my house smells weird. I make candles. Yeah, so if you head candles. over to uh, etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the London Candle Co., you can find 18 different fragrances that I make. And they and smell I, fantastic. And a lot really of the Pink Josh fans have purchased them they and can really vouch do. for them. They so. can. Uh, I do use all, all natural coconut wax and hemp wicks, um, plus all fresh scents. So even if you are uh, highly allergic to stuff and you touch a candle, you will be fine. Promise. And they're wicked. I'm going to leave a little break in there. <laughs> you said wicked. <laughs> they're wicked. They're wicked. I also make wax melts as, as well. Oh, yeah, um, but if you're, if you're you e grab one, dude? No, if you're easily offended, then don't buy my wax melts. Oh, the wax melts have naughty words on them. But <laughs> let's see. You know what I think? Now that we're good for down here. Okay, now that we got the brush loaded back up again, let's skip a section. You don't always have to fill it up. And maybe we'll come back in again trying to stay out of your way so it's not... It's not the best looking tree because I'm trying to paint it all funkily for you guys to be able to see it. There we go. And we can even do it that way. You can just start to build your branches out however you want. So skip down a little. Maybe come in with the corner again, trying to show everybody. All right? Start popping up and popping out. And then we can start to build. Skip down a little bit. <clears throat> Gotta skip down. You can do a couple ways out, skip down. Do a couple more, skip down again. Maybe this guy back in here, maybe he had a couple little branches. It wasn't so full, right? Got a little break in there. But you want to have a lot of paint on the canvas, uh, a lot of paint on your brush. Start slapping at it. Get all those little fingers to kind of hang off. Oh, yeah, those are sweet. <laughs> it's still got the... It's got the wick thing in it. It's, it's still top. fresh. But, yeah, two different size candles. I, I can't grab the other one. Hang on. It's okay. I got it. Yeah, so... A big and a small, and uh, they, oh, this one's fantastic. They all smell so good, and the whole house downstairs smells so good. So, London's Candles, uh, it's paint, It's etsy.com slash shop slash the London Candle Co. Correct? Yep. Yeah. Yvonne Wiltsy's in the comments. She says, the wax melts look so pretty when they're melted down. They really do. Let me see your nails. Okay. There we go. You don't want to add too much. Here's my nails. They need to be paint. redone. It kind of looks funky now that it has a... They need to be redone. There's a little bit in there. There Can we I go. Have my candles back? There's the candles. That's more like a, like an old fat Christmas tree right there. Right? Big old guy. So, again, you can take the bottom of it. Start to pull it out however you want. And again, since we did a... What am I supposed to do? We did this monster tree. We have to do its monster reflection. <laughs> so start out just as big on the bottom... Jonathan Evely Very says, light amount of my paint. house does smell weird. <laughs> That's fine. Well, then you need some candles. There's also a 50% sale right now if you buy four. Leave those so. gaps in there so it can grow. Ready? See that? And the more and more you go over it, the more you'll lose your, your shape. But all we need is a little reflection. That's all. Very cool. But yeah, everyone get London's candles because they smell fantastic. Now watch, what if we bring our little shoreline, just with a little bit of darkness, down to there. All you gotta do is stretch it across, very lightly, very softly. See how these overlap a little bit? The two little bits. If we can get that dark line to really grow and they overlap enough, then uh, it'll look perspectively right. right. Let me take this guy and we'll bring him out just a little bit more. I, I don't know what to do with this cat, babe. Right. She's like now, ravenously hungry. Now that that's there, we'll take our white. And we're going to come in from the edge. And start to hide that other little bit of water back there. Right? You can change your angles. You can do whatever you want. But as long as we have the light here and the darkness back there, it'll look like this is much closer. 
There we go. Very lightly pulling it off to the edge because it's going to want to grow. In case you're interested and you're looking for a challenge right now, Josh does have a challenge up on his Facebook page called the 12 Days of Painting. That there are 12 individual paintings that uh, if you can get them submitted by December 15th during the live December 24th, we will announce a winner from a hat and you will win a Paint With Josh hoodie. Yes, a custom Paint With Josh hoodie. Which, they are fantastic. Let me they really you. are. That was so funny last night when your sister showed up in one. Like, I yeah. didn't... Yeah, I've totally I, forgotten I'd yeah. get her one. No idea. Well, they, they, they bought one. I yeah. totally forgot. And she's, like, standing there going, look. And I'm like, look what? Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at some. I'm looking at my, my million and a half views on tic, uh, TikTok. I'm looking at this. And then I look up, and she's wearing the Paint with Josh sweater. I'm like, oh, snap! All right, let's see here. We could do another little guy. We could do all sorts of things, right? Let's do, we'll do one more little guy. I shouldn't have washed all the paint off. But we don't need so much paint for this one. You don't want it to be all the way up the bristles. Just about halfway is good. Never load it too much. All right, maybe this guy was in the shadows over here. Or he's kind of on an angle because he's on this little hill. Right? Way off there. He got stepped on by a moose when he was little. Okay, we're going to come back in here. Again, it's hard to not miss I mean to show you everything with no shadowing and stuff these kind of pop up just very lightly if you go on my TikTok there's a very cool video about how to make a tree and I've made another very cool video on how to make a tree Hi. so that'll be in my YouTube shorts and TikTok page and all that stuff hello artist yes my love you have currently been live for one hour and seven minutes excellent that's not too bad Let's see. All right, we're going to come back here. We're going to pull this guy back a little bit towards this lighter shadows, right? A little light area. Jackie, every morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Josh's Facebook page, a brand new painting in the 12 Days of Painting is released. They have not all been released together. Tomorrow is Tuesday's video release so if you're already interested in doing Tuesdays oh, yeah. it'll be released tomorrow at 9 a.m. as well and I guarantee you've done most if not all of the other videos there was only one new one and that came out today so all the other ones you've probably done so go through your camera roll yeah make and, sure because uh, a lot of those paintings I would imagine you've already done which means you just need to fill in the ones you haven't done which is so funny why everyone's like oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this like I, I, I work and I was like dude I work too like you've probably done this you've sent it to me before <laughs> you know what I mean okay let's actually we got the brown out for this exact reason so let's use the brown let's take our brown grab a little sneak of white we'll come over here you just mix it up till you get this wood grain color. Very cool. Sarah Nothing, says, not to be too bright though. Where do you live? We live in Vegas, Sin City. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 bah. Touch, pull that. away, right? That's all you really need. Don't need too many details like in there. Little, tiny little things. That's all we need. And then we're going to take and cover over the majority of them with our highlights anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But don't have them all in the same spot. That always looks kind of funny. And they're all in the same space. So a little bit of our liquid white, which is that kind of watery white paint. And that's going to make this paint very thin. And this thin paint is going to stick to that thick paint. Now, I don't want to do too many highlights on our big guy here because we're going to put lights and stuff. So let's start back here. Just touch the top. Nothing even came off. There we go. Touch the top. And then just start popping up. I'm going to highlight the left side of my trees and kind of leave the, light si uh, the right side a little bit of shadow. Just like that. Right, just coming from the moon. Don't have to highlight the whole thing. And it always kind of looks funky to me if it's just a straight line, right? So maybe every so often. But you don't have to do the whole tree. That's what I'm saying. Pop in. One little bit, just like that. A cool little branch. Branch, mommy. Tate says, paint. do you have an opinion on black canvases? I love black canvases. We're painting on black canvas right now. Black canvases are definitely my favorite thing. Now, this guy I'm going to highlight on the right side because the moon's over here, right? So, again, we're going to come back, just very lightly touch. You can leave a couple little globs at the top. That's okay. Don't have to highlight the whole thing. There's not many branches up there to make look like branches. Branch, my man. Branch. Are you gonna Don't put, do too many. Did you say you were going to put lights on that one? Yeah, we're going to do a little Christmas tree right here. Oh, not black canvases. It was not a spelling error. Blick canvases. Oh, I don't know. I haven't used them, I guess. 
London's off to Google. Yeah. London's always Googling the stuff that I don't know, which is everything. I don't know anything. Okay, a little bit more of our phthalo green. Change the sky up, be a little bit darker. Still has that liquid white, so it'll come off the brush easily. And come up here again. Touch the top just to leave a few little dibs and drabs and little things. And then just start bouncing in a couple little things at a time, right? Little things. Just touching with the corner of the brush. Same way that we do. We come in, touch the corner, corner, corner. That's what makes our little shapes, okay? And then the more you push up, the more it's going to look like a tree branch. So as we come down here, again, just tapping, rotating, kind of filling in our little areas, covering over some of our trunk, leaving some of it to show through so you can still see it. Right? Brightening up some areas, back and forth, back and forth, until we got a cool little tree. Very lightly going to do the other side. Maybe get some brightness out on the branches out on each side. But nothing crazy and it doesn't have to be uniform or anything like that, right? Very dark down around the bottom. You don't have to light it up down there. Very cool. Didn't want to put too many because we're going to throw some lights on here in a, in a GIF. There we go. Pull that off to the side. People always give me crap. They're like, oh, the shadows. I'm like, dude, I'm getting, I did it in an hour live. Give me a break. You know what I mean? Live, Break. straight to you. Straight to you in one hour's time. Just a little bit of that water in there. Thank you so straight. much for everyone who's running off to my Etsy store right now. Hey, you guys are awesome. To favorite their favorite fragrances. All right. One more little thing over here. Again, we're going to skip down with our highlights because we don't need that many it's going to grow and the liquid white is going to want to grow so much faster than the rest look at how easily those reflections come out so perfectly right very lightly turn the brush go down leave space for it to grow turn into a tree hey babe can we get some ryan reynolds voice of course you can um this one is probably too far away um what do you want me to say that's right <laughs> Hi, ladies. It's Deadpool uh, here with you today. No, I don't know. I don't know what to say. You like put just, me on the spot. And I don't know what wonderful. to say. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. If you are interested in making your house smell fantastic as well as looking fantastic, you can head over to my Etsy store, which is etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the London Candle Co. Yeah, baby. Candle Co. In it. Okay. Let's do. I want to extend this line. You see how it wasn't at an angle? It was too much, too much back there. So we're going to pull that darkness up into it so it doesn't grow down. There we go. And you can always come back and cover over it with your, uh, with your highlights and stuff. Light it up. It's got a little bit of that green in there. There we go. Cool little thing. A little bit of snow kind of coming down. Okay, let's take a few little colors. Since we're running low on time, let's take a few. We'll get our liquid white, come in here, and maybe in the, let's drop it into the yellow first, just on our little liner brush. Little, tiniest bit on the end, right? Maybe scoop it up, like go in there and scoop it. Come over here, drop a couple little yellow lights, just wherever. I mean, it depends on how many um, colors you're gonna choose. Depends, right? If you're just going to do all yellow lights, do them kind of randomly. If you're going to do it multiple colored like this one, then you're going to have to leave room for all of those other colors, right? Sorry, there's a really important question directed to me in the comments. Go ahead. Which says, London, what is your favorite sandwich? Yes, let's, London. Let's see if my husband knows the right answer. Oh, good night. Well, I mean, your favorite sandwich is a hook and ladder from a firehouse, but... Okay, if I was to make a sandwich... Oh, um, is beans on toast a sandwich? No, babe. Go with the red and the liquid white. Um, what sandwich would Linda make? If she was going to make a sandwich, she was, she would make a, I mean, we've only been married for 12 years. <laughs> How, what, what, I, what kind of sandwich? You put me on the spot. Now everyone knows I'm a horrible husband. Because <laughs> I don't even know your sandwich. <laughs> Thanks, honey. What?
what sandwich would you... Yeah, it would be a tuna sandwich. Tuna sandwich, final answer. Eh. Ah. <laughs> what sandwich is it? It then? would either be an imitation crab and mayonnaise sandwich. That's not a sandwich! That's a sandwich? Guaranteed no one else in the comments has ever had an imitation crab and mayonnaise sandwich. That is not a known sandwich. It doesn't have to be popular. The question was aimed at... Me! It was on statistical Oh, true, waste. true. Well, then how can you expect me to know it if it's Because not you live here! <laughs> a little bit of blue. This blue is very dark. I know we're going to have to brighten that up. Otherwise, those little blue balls won't light up. If you are interested in sending stars on Facebook, on the left-hand side of the Facebook screen, there's a little image that... Uh, on, sorry, on the right-hand side of the comment, there's a little image that looks like a star. If you tap yeah, on nope. that, it'll tell you how much stars are. And then, obviously, it is up to you whether or not you wish to spend the money. Right. Okay, we're going to go in with just pure liquid white for the last couple lights. <laughs> Jonathan Eadley says beans on toast is a sandwich in his house. Yeah, right. It is in some people's. Either that, a tuna melt, or just to totally upset you all, strawberry jam. With cheese. And American cheese. Oh! <laughs> cheese and jam and jam and cheese. All right, no, let's take a couple don't little. Know. Watch, a couple little teeny yellow dots. We'll see if yeah, we can see? recreate this thing too. Smutty Mugs in the comments says, That's a great sandwich. I love crab, real or fake. See? See? Yeah, but you've never thought of it until Lemon said it. Though. Oh, Crystal even even chimed in with the Welsh rabbit. Welsh rabbit. Not really a sandwich. However, some melty cheese on toast with wash okay. your sister sauce <laughs> is definitely fire. All right, we're going to take opinion. this and just be so like, oh, amazing. Perfect. That's all I wanted to see. <laughs> Caitlin went jam and cheese? Yeah, right. Yes, Caitlin. All right, let's do, let's put See? something down over here, I think. I, I'm telling you, the imitation crab and mayo sandwich is, is becoming quite popular in the comments. Apparently so. Look, we're going to change up the whole... There we go. Christine Bloomfield says, sharp cheddar and raspberry jam, yum, yum. See, it's not me. Annette Babcock says, imitation crab and mayo is a great sandwich. She also follows that up with, I've been married 45 years and my husband probably couldn't answer my favorite sandwich. Yeah, either. that's funny. See, that's just me. There we go. Bring some of this land down closer to us. Maybe we can have like a little snowy path or something. <laughs> the more we mix it, the more my easel shakes about. Yeah, see, Brett's got the peanut butter and uh, banana sandwich. That was the Elvis sandwich, wasn't it? I think so. There we go. All about the angles, right? Coming down, little thing. Almost things, sounds like things. a lobster roll. See, there's got to be something to it. Very true. Well, London is mostly right all the time, so you know, I'll be wrong as usual. Mostly it's fine. Mostly right all the time. All the time. Did you? Do you have any interest in finding out how the couch feels when you sleep on it? <laughs> I'm just curious. I said all the time. No, you said mostly right all the time. Oh, mostly. They mostly come at night. Mostly. Go. I want to keep the back a little darker, so I'm not going to put that white paint out there on the back. Let's see. And literally, we can change the whole scene just with our angle of our bro of our strokes and everything. Super simply done. Very cool. Very very cool. All right, let's put something standing in here now, like a like a big giant something or other, a little skinny something or other. Something we'll find out. We're going to find out right now. An itty bitty skinny something? An itty bitty skitty committee tree. <laughs> skitty committee tree. There we go, right up here. Very thin amount of pressure, right? As soon as my brush starts to split out, I'm going to switch it because I don't want it to be oh so big. Kitten is go. back in the house. Thank you so much for coming back. This is how it looks now. You stepped away, maybe ate some dinner, and boom, yeah, right? painting. Poof, back to you. All right, a little bit more paint on the brush just to keep it nice and sharp as we come down. Oh. Start to extend this guy a little bit just by pushing. Gray Hulk said, glad to see someone carrying on the Ross way. I love it. Hey, thank you. Thank if you for that. If you are watching right now on any of the platforms and you like what you see, please, 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 please Tap go ahead and hit that, that follow button. 
or that subscribe button. Our low odor mineral spirits amazing. into the paint right here. All right, maybe we had this one, that little branch always sticks off and jabs me whenever I'm out in the forest. So he's the first one I like to paint. Glenn Woodington says, I was expecting a tuna melt. Aliens reference said by Newt. <laughs> Steve Jankowski. Uh, oh, I don't want to screw that up. Uh-oh. Fines? Oh, oh, Burns. Ah. Oh, Burns, yeah. I, I told him I was going to do a painting similar to his and mention him in one of these shows. Amazing. He said, I'm not hungry, just having a beer and watching you paint Great Winter Winter." Nice. Yeah, this one's coming out good. I um, agree. Glenn said, once again, I'm being ignored. Um, no, Glenn, it just came full circle. I'm traveling through three platforms to read comments yeah, here. Yeah, we got all sorts of stuff happening today. Steve Jankowski says, I am sci-fi movie geek. <laughs> <laughs> Did Steve ever see my uh, my my Devil's Tower painting? That's what I want to know. He did a wicked Devil's Tower one if you're into sci-fi movies. Nikki Perez says, I love painting any chance I get, and I love watching your live while I work. Amazing. Thank you. If you are interested in watching more of the, uh, the infamous paint with Josh that sounds like Ryan Reynolds that paints like Bob Ross, you can head over yeah. to youtube.com forward slash paint with Josh. TikTok sensation Ryan Reynolds Ross <laughs> with you today. There we go. See, it's, it's very difficult to go over all that thick paint up there. <laughs> so don't go too crazy. If you are interested in watching Paint with Josh, who sounds like Ryan Reynolds, who paints like Bob Ross, you can head over to YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to put that, I'm going to lay that down on our audio track. We're yeah, going to make right. that the intro of every video. Yes. R Rick Strickland says, 10.15 p.m. Port Orange, Florida. Hey, I didn't welcome. Know there was a Port Orange. I love it when people write what they're, where they're from, and I'm like, oh, I didn't even know that was a place. Yeah, right. Let's see. Just branches everywhere off this little guy. You don't have to do all the ones that I'm doing, right? You can stop whenever you want. Maybe yeah. so off we had a couple more details than, right, than the random thing. Right? Josh over here and his magic paintbrush. Yeah, you can add a couple little roots even just with your, just with your uh, liner brush. You're like, those don't look like roots. This guy's a clown. Soon, small child, have patience. Right, just start to very lightly pull them out, and those little differences in color that we get all over the place might look like roots if you line them up just right. Right? Kind of. I mean, they kind of do. They kind of do. But in this instance, this poor guy is going to be all covered in snow anyway. So I like to show you things you can do and then show you what we're actually going to do. Right? A little bit of white. It will come up here just on the edge of him and start to lay down a little bit of that. And he's got all this light on the snow back here. Different angles, though. Right? Different angles. Very lightly pulling it out. Because the more you mix it, the more it's going to want to blend in and become part of all the other colored snow underneath. You are just a little less than 3,000 likes to getting to 300,000 cool. likes. Holy cow! So. That's a lot. Let's take a little bit of the same white color, take it on the side of our tree. I gotta have enough on the knife. There we go. Start to throw in our little bits of Kind of like birch bark, almost. Last night, Josh and I were sitting on the couch, and, uh, oh no, not last night, the night before, and I said, how many likes do you have? Because yeah. I have like 74,000. And uh, Josh, oh, yeah. Josh was at like 68,000, but he had like 30,000 followers. And I was like, that's fine. I was like, obviously people like me more than you, but they want to be friends with you. <laughs> me. That's funny. And now both of those numbers have been smashed. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's just Josh all the way. <laughs> Guys, go follow London is hilarious so I can sleep soundly and not worry about being stabbed in the knife. <laughs> <laughs> that would not happen. A little bit of white on the knife is all I you have need. too much to live for. Welcome to Josh and his magic paintbrush. Yeah, tiny bit of white. Just touch, pull away. Don't even need to go all the way to the top. Just like that. Alright, we're going to go a little bit on the edge of that guy, just to light him up enough. Not a whole lot. I don't want snow out there just dangling all over the tree branches. But, just enough to light it up enough so it's not straight black. 
And again, when you put this white on there, it's going to want to mix with whatever you put on there. So, well, you know, we lost our little guy. We lost our little guy. I got, this guy pokes me all the time. He's got to be, you got to start in the middle, flip it out like that. Very cool. It would help if they lined up. <laughs> How to screw it up. That was like Kung Fu subtitles. There we go. Oh the my branch, goodness, that is just... The branch comes out of here and rejoins over here. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to have to change that because now it's irritating me. We're going to have to come out and then change direction. Right? And now, that little one that likes to stick me is no longer growing. I broke him off. <laughs> there we go. Tiny little things. Break it off. Tiny things, right? Very cool. A lot of depth back there, You're too. You're at 20% over life pause. Hey, well, what's the, what's the charger's going on? What's it. the battery I'm power? on it. Shush. There we go. Hush right. yourself, artist. You continue to paint. I'll fix it. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm wondering... Fixed. Ta-da! We have power. Now, let's sneak a little bit of that darkness. Thank you, my love. You're very welcome. Sneak a little bit of it in at certain places, right? Just by scraping it in, coming back very lightly, because you don't want it to grow forever. Drink time. Mm. Mm. I'm not going to have any with my cold double cheeseburger. Well, they're in the microwave, oh. so you can always heat them up. Are there more than one? Yeah, I bought you oh. two. I bought you two. Oh. Yeah. I bought you she two knows double me. cheeseburgers and two chicken nuggets. She knows me, guys. Yes, just two chicken nuggets. I bought Bailey a ten piece. Stole four nuggets from her. Two for you, two for me. I've eaten my two. I've eaten my two of everything. Well, I got two burgers. I won't need. Well, two actually, you nuggets. have one burger and then a three quarters of a burger. Cause you've already taken a bite out of one of the burgers. Ah, got it. Okay, that's fantastic. A little bit of darkness <laughs> underneath that guy. It just helps. Caitlin plays a game at her apartment complex called How Long Will It Take the Emergency Vehicle to Get Through the Security Gate? Oh, yeah, I know that game. And it is, a, it is a fun game. She's playing it currently. Is that perspectively right? I'm going to put a big bush down here to cover some of this, but... I wouldn't. Yeah, this snow doesn't make sense in my head, so okay. something's got to go in here. Okay, a little bit of blue, a little bit of black, a little bit of crimson. Again, a little bit of green, why not? We've got it out, might as well. Tap it. Get it all nastily stuck in there. Hey, right. did you guys hear that? He said, tap it in. That means tap, 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 tap on, the screen. on the screen. On the screen. Tap, right. tap, tap. Like this. We're going to come in. Maybe we'll start our guy. Maybe he's up here. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. And tap, 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 tap. He comes tap, over tap. here. You don't know. You don't know what the bush is going to do. if he grows up alongside of the tree. Right? Now, we're going to take that one-inch brush again. Just like that. Take this guy down. Now we can start to piece in a bit of land over here. Some shadows behind there, maybe pulling them down. <laughs> Sliding over, saving some of that white. I'm still laughing what you said at the beginning of the live. Hi, I'm Ryan Reynolds of Hi. Boost Cricket <laughs> yeah. Mobile T-Mobile AT&T. Owner of Boost Cricket T-Mobile AT&T at T-Mobile Arena Raider Stadium. <laughs> we live in Las Vegas. Okay, now we're going to wash all the color off that brush. All of it. All of it. Glenn Whittington says, one of these days he's going to surprise me and put in Walter. Yes. Walter is his little bird that he likes to paint. Very cool. Laurie says, this painting is absolutely gorgeous. Hey, babe, if someone was interested in buying this, just curious. So you um, can go to my Etsy store. We have about 450 sales in the Etsy store, so you can trust. I'm an Etsy uh, 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 star seller. Uh, we've got all the stuff, so don't worry. Um, I ship everything myself. One of them helps me box stuff up sometimes. We get things to the post office, or they come pick them up from my place of business. Um, but yeah, it's you can get them at uh, paintwithjosh.etsy.com is what I meant to say. Right, same thing, gonna tap in that white, tapping it into the to the liquid white. Okay, gonna load it up. Look. See all those little fingers in tap, there? Tap, 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 tap. All those little fingers, those little things. That's what's gonna get stuck out here, right? Then we're gonna come out. Look hey guys, th uh, thank you so much. I just noticed on TikTok we're at 46.3 thousand likes. Really appreciate it. You guys should do a live art auction. 
That is a great idea, Aaron. That's a cool idea. Just like that, right? Saving some of those dark areas, saving them. You can't get rid of everything. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So let's throw just a little bit more of our lighter color in here. Pull it down off the easel, get the easel all nasty. Just like that, very neat. Now, we can take a few little branches with our liquid white, right? Come in here, wherever our dark area was. Very light, super small amount of paint. But something's gotta be holding all of these these little things up, right? A couple little things, little swipes. Artist, I wish to let you know that you have been live for 91 minutes. Good, because I'm literally about to end it. All right, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab up our liquid white. I have a mountain of brushes I have to clean. My goodness. Liquid white, and we're gonna get them all stick, right? Just like Da Vinci and his big giant easel in his studio. You don't, I don't have that. You don't have to have that either, right? So we're gonna come up and let's take our family and we'll put them over here. And you're like, family? I thought he just painted landscapes. You're right. I cannot paint a portrait. <laughs> so my family goes into every painting as these three birds, myself, my wife, and our daughter who seems to be missing a wing. <laughs> Should be mad at me who's missing a wing. Uh, and they go into every single painting as part of the signature. So, yeah, I suggest you guys do that with your families or your paintings. <laughs> Tata says the stick is out. It's about to get real. Yeah, right. What fan brush are you using? So it's a Gak Doctor fan brush. There's way too much paint on my brush right here. JK, just kidding. Process. Just kidding. Watch, we can even bring a little bit more land. Look, just a little happy accident has created a whole nother place for a whole nother bush and a whole nother bit of stuff. Oh, Come wait. Like that. Right? Just with the fan brush. Don't need to have even the same brush because all this brush is still loaded up with that white paint that we had tapped in from here. Right? Tap, tap, tappy, tappy, tappy. So we can come back over here and just highlight whichever bits we want to show. Not the whole thing, right? Never the whole thing. I'm, I'm going to assume this is the RR stands for Ryan Reynolds. It says worrying is like a rocking chair. If it gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. <laughs> you have to say that in your voice. Okay. Worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it's not going to get you anywhere. <laughs> Babe, it's like really good. <laughs> That's like really good. Yeah, well, I, someone tag Ryan Reynolds. I could be his uh, stand-in. I'm I, not as good looking, but I think from now on, what you're gonna have to do is post shorts and voice over the. And voice over as Ryan Reynolds. Yep. I'll just start talking like Ryan Reynolds, and then we can we we'll just rock and roll. Yeah. See, reclusive sheepdog says that's incredibly accurate. <laughs> it really was, babe. It was really good. That's cool. Well, thank you. Do you want to give everybody a nice zoomed-in view of the painting before sure. while we're cleaning up brushes and stuff? Here we go. Don't be sick, we're going in. Oh, there's a little Christmas tree. Very neat. Very neat. So I hope you guys try this painting. I hope you send it in. I hope you do, you know, everything you're supposed to do and tag me when you post it or hashtag Paint With Josh or at Paint With Josh on Facebook and uh, tag me. I, we, we save them all for cool little posts that we do for the fans where, you know, fan appreciation posts and stuff like that. So send them in or post them and tag me because I love seeing them. We love seeing them. Boop. And go watch my videos on TikTok. I need more million million view videos. Those are fantastic. That one should gotta be at 1.6 by the time we're done. And go subscribe on YouTube, please. No, please subscribe on YouTube. That is the bread and butter. That's where all the best view is. Tata says, can we get a all tube man for Prezi? A what? A tube man for Prezi. A tube man? Yeah. Oh, a wacky waving. Inflatable arm flaming? Okay. Yeah. Wacky waving inflatable arm flaming two man! Wacky waving inflatable arm flaming two man! Hi, I'm Al Harrington, owner of Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flaming Two Man Emporium and Warehouse. And we're here to pass these painting tips along to you! <laughs> <coughs> oh, yeah, while well, all of my neighbors go, what does this guy do up in his By thing? Friday, I'll be searching for a new husband. <laughs> <laughs> you love That's it. That's just a joke. That's just you a joke. love it. The Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flaming Two Man Emporium and Warehouse. Due to a crippling divorce with my bitch of an ex-wife. <laughs> it's so fun. I love that show so much. It's great when he does it the, and they're, um, they're like mechanical inflate, like when they're out in space. It's kind of cool. 
All right. Try to get all these brushes clean, otherwise I forget. I'll go home, I'll go downstairs and eat. Forget that I have dirty brushes everywhere. This might have paint thinner in it, so can you take that and just pour it out? Yeah. I might have dripped in there. Gross. Oh, hey, baby, you sure you don't want to drink it? Mwah, mwah. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. A lot of the, a lot of you, this may be your first time watching a Paint With Josh video. If you're a brand new follower on TikTok, we literally got 30,000 new followers in one day from uh, putting out that video that's got a million and a half views. It's like, insane. So, if this is your first time watching, well, we really love interacting with everybody. We love the comments. We love the gifts. But more importantly, we love the taps and the comments and the shares and sending it to your grandma. Because that's what really helps get it out. Okay, let's put the signature back over here now. I always have a little bit too much. I've been painting so many white canvases recently that the... Uh, I'm used to like white canvas amount of paint on the brush versus black canvas amount of paint. Anthony Elliott says, can you get the entire video on YouTube? Yes, this entire video is going to be, uh, it's streamed to YouTube just the same as we streamed here, just a different view and expanded. And you won't be able to be zoomed in any further than it is. But on my YouTube channel, I have videos where as soon as I come touch something, it zooms in, right? I'd spend hours and hours editing those videos. Nothing we can do about the lives besides literally pick the cameras up and move them closer. But uh, yeah, this whole video plus about 300 uh, other videos. Hey, there we go. It Sorry. sounded like the beginning of that song. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Let me clear my... <clears throat> Babe. Sorry. Okay. No one's, no one's watching it. Yeah, we're all gone since I burped. <laughs> so the live will be... Uh, the live will be on YouTube for you to watch. Most of the lives get locked behind a subscription wall. Not for December. But oh, because it's Christmas, all the December Christmas lives will be available for you to watch. Yes. But you got to hit this that is, subscribe button. This is what, like, my thought is. You know, we're teaching you guys live, and we're teaching the world live and for free, right? If we could just get a little bit of support from just a couple people every so often, a little bit of support, I can keep doing all this stuff for free, and we won't have to charge, right? So, we've got tons and tons and tons of fans. Everybody get over to YouTube from uh, TikTok, and let's keep this train rolling, right? Are we all zoomed out? Can everybody... Yeah, everyone can see your beautiful Ryan Reynolds. My... So, guys, I just wanted to let you know, thank you for tuning in to this video. And uh, I'm going to go hang out with Will Ferrell. We're doing a movie, or just came out. We're going to go watch it in the theaters. <laughs> I don't know. And you just do it spectacularly. Yeah, I don't... I, I don't think just, I do, though. You should just talk to everybody like that. All I have to do is just lower my voice down just a little bit, and then it's Ryan Reynolds. Hey, guys. Welcome to the show. I want to thank you for tuning in, for watching us, for hanging out, and until we see you guys again next time, take care. Have the rest of a good day, and ba bow Get him out of here, babe. This has been fun. Can't wait till uh, we see everyone's version, so... Hey, babe, when are you back? Uh, back on Saturday. Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific, so it's at 2 o'clock Eastern. Saturday at 2 Eastern, we're back. We're painting live, and it's going to be another kind of Christmassy scene. So go check out this painting uh, in my Etsy store if you want to buy it. Got to be the first one there, and uh, some of the times they sell quick. So uh, paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You're buying it from paintwithjosh through etsy.com. And uh, I can't wait to, uh, to see who gets this one. So uh, until we see you guys again next time, take care. Have the rest of a good day and night. And boop bow All right. This was a fantastic show. You didn't say it. What? Get him out of here, babe. Oh, get him out of here, babe. Don't touch the moon, everyone. Don't touch the moon. <laughs> get him out of here. It's over. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Mm -hmm.